Hey guys, how you doing? You got the widget guy here with you. Um, oh, I got the sign coming up. Perfect timing. Uh, beautiful day. Let's see, I got portside, 67 miles. Live 90. I am not going to Los Angeles. I was actually just going to take a two-lane blacktop uh, up through Parker and uh, over across the border and stuff like that. But anyway, the traffic's been so light here on the uh, I-10. And it's such a beautiful day. Oh my God, I don't know what the temperature is. Sorry, Doc. But uh, a lot of bikes out today too. But um, yeah, I don't know what the temperature is today, but I would say 75, 70, 75. And, uh, yeah, it's just a beautiful day. So, I just thought I'd give you a heads up. Uh, the old KLR is running great. Compared to my Death Valley ride, this little, I put the nose fairing and stuff back on, and the little windshield. And, like, right here, there's nothing. And then, right about there, right about uh, jaw level, I guess, um, then I start getting a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to pull in the quartzite, get some gas. Um, quartzite's the famous place of, I believe it's High Jolly. Back in uh, World War II, they were testing camels instead of mules. And uh, he was the keeper of the camels. There's actually a monument out here uh, somewhere to him. And uh, years after the army said, no, we're going, uh, we don't need the camels because we have uh, cars or whatever the reason was, uh, there were reports of uh, ghost camels out here. Camels out here for years and years after. But we're going to peel off this exit. So I will talk to you guys a bit. Yeah, look at that. 466 truck drivers 530 or 529 All right, 539 for premium. Thanks, Joe. Really appreciate all that. But it's the war, man. It's the war. War, war is hell. Gasoline. Whatever. All right. Yeah, the old KLR, man. I tell you. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good bike, man. So, anyway, talk to you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. You got the widget back here with you. We are gassed up and I don't know what it is whether the just the cruising or the ferrying or what but uh, it took 2.2 gallons to get here I think it was like 128 miles something like that came out to 57 miles to the gallon good lord and I've just been kind of doing 65-70 holding it in between um, 41 and 4500 RPM that's just depending but uh, that's the best I've ever got I don't know if it's the streamlineness of the fairing or what but yeah it's pretty crazy and a bunch of guys came in there So I know this is the wrong way. I was just uh, gonna run down the street here just to look. And High Jolly Monument down this way. Here we go. We gotta do this. High Jolly Cemetery. Huh. There it is, the pyramid.
funny, I've been through here. I'm not sure how you get in. Been through here a uh, hundred times. Never seen it. <laughs> Jeez, I was right over there at the uh, gas station too. Actually, I need to be. Trying to a man. I guess he loved them camels. So he was the only one that could get them to do anything. There we go. The last camp of High Jolly, born somewhere in Syria, about 1828, died at Quartzsite, December 16th. Huh. That's when my dad died. Um, yeah, how weird. Um, 1902, came to this country February 10th, 1856. Camel driver, packer, scout, over 30 years of faithful aid to the US government. <laughs> well, very cool. I had uh, heard about this, I never saw it. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize I was still recording. So, I was uh, texting a friend, sending my daughter some pictures, and we're out of here. Goodbye, hi Jolly. What a beautiful day, oh my word. All right, we're out of here. Man, what a good scooter. All right, here we go. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Do, 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 do. Man, see if I can keep that 57 miles to the gallon going, huh? Not too jabby, not too jabby. Pet relief area. <laughs> There's the whole desert, and I mean, you have a pet relief area. All right, kids, I'm gonna shut the camera off as soon as I wrap this thing around the corner here. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Living the dream. Oh, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Oops, I guess I can put on the correct turn seat. And, uh, oh, it feels good to get the air moved again. So, I will talk to you guys later. I am gonna hop on the road and uh, keep pedaling that way. It's about an hour and 15. So not bad, not bad tall. Would you guy over it out?